नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर डी स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम ऑफ टीचिंग लर्निंग इंटरवेंशन फॉर इंक्लूसिव क्लास रूम माई नेम इज तानवी खुराना एंड ऑल द सेवेंथ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स यू वॉचिंग आज ऑन ई विद चैनल नंबर सेवन आर टूडे इज टॉपिक इज एन इंग्लिश क्लास ऑफ द टॉपिक विच इज चैप्टर नंबर सेवन द इन्वेंशन ऑफ वीटा वॉक नाउ आई you do want to know that what exactly is vita wonk and what is this invention all about i'm sure you must be having your set of questions your set of queries and uh, you would like to ask us so share your questions on our number which is 8800440559 if you want to email us your queries the email id would be dth.class7@ciit.nic.in so let me tell you that uh, at this moment we are going to talk about uh, a lot regarding this chapter number 7 the invention of vita vonk and uh, like i said you can contact us and on your screens you can see a sign language interpreter as well to so, hamare sign language interpreter se aapka parichay zarur karwana chahenge hamare sath hai nirbhay kumar mal bahut bahut swagat hai aapka nirbhay निर्भय आपको हर एक शब्द जो यहाँ डिस्कस होगा उसे साइन लैंग्वेज में इंटरप्रेट करके आप तक पहुँचाएंगे और हमारे साथ मौजूद है हमारी एक खास मेहमान जो हमें इस चैप्टर के बारे में बहुत सारी जानकारी देंगी तो चलिए आपका परिचय करवाना चाहेंगे मिस सुरुचि पाल से स्वागत है मैम आपका नमस्ते नमस्कार मैम है एक स्पेशल एजुकेशन टीचर और हमें डिटेल्स देंगी आज इस चैप्टर नंबर सेवन द इन्वेंशन ऑफ फीटा वॉक के बारे में तो अपने सवाल हम तक जरूर पहुंचाइए हम यहीं पे हैं बहुत सारी बातचीत होगी पर शुरू करने से पहले इस कार्यक्रम को हम आपको एक इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट बताना चाहेंगे जो कि है इंडिया की जी प्रेसिडेंसी से जुड़ी हुई वेल वी आर एक्सट्रीमली प्राउड दट इंडिया इज्यूम्ड जी प्रेसिडेंसी एंड वुड कन्वीन द जी ट्वेंटी लीडर समिट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द कंट्री दिस ईयर दैट इज ट्वेंटी a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india's g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family तो चलिए इसी बातचीत के साथ लेट्स जस्ट बिगिन दिस डिस्कशन एंड बिकॉज द टॉपिक इज वेरी नो यूनिक आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क हर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज वीटा वोंग एंड व्हाट इज दिस इन्वेंशन ऑल अबाउट मैम वीटा वोंग इज अ काइंड ऑफ टॉनिक ओके व्हिच अ साइंटिस्ट इन्वेंटेड कॉल्ड मिस्टर विली वोंग ओ ओके नाउ आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दिस thing is all about yeah this is a very very interesting story it's a fiction story basically okay ma'am would you like to define what exactly a uh, fiction stories see fiction story is a story which is not based on a true uh event okay which is not true like it's a f- uh, uh for an example we can say that fairy stories are not can't be true like yes so this is also a kind of story which cannot be true these are called fiction stories so i can say that it's an imaginary story yes okay um ma'am would you uh, like to show our children uh, the presentation you have prepared and uh, let's understand it better with the help of that yes definitely so as ma'am told us that uh, we'll be doing this story the invention of beta wonk let's see the presentation please mr willy wonka was a scientist he first invented a tonic wonka white which made people younger that means if you have that tonic so you will become younger suppose you are 80 years old so after having that tonic you can be maybe 20 25 years old like this oh wow but it was such a powerful medicine that people disappeared after their age went in minus because people were greedy you know and they had a lot of quantity of that tonic and they went in minus okay one person even became minus 87 years old and the poor fellow had to wait 87 years to come back to the world 
So after that, Willy Wonka decided to invent a new thing. What was that? The new thing to reverse the changes. Now we, now he had to make people old because as I told you, some of the people had disappeared after having the previous tonic. So he started getting ideas for the new recipe. Then he started thinking of what, what he could do to, you know, make people old. Okay. Um, here I can uh, read this last sentence. He started getting ideas for the new recipe. Uh, would you like to tell our children what is a recipe exactly? As recipe we generally use when we talk about uh, recipes of making any food, food item. Yeah. Like a recipe of making palak paneer, recipe yeah. of making manchurian. Okay. And so recipe is basically when we mix different ingredients mm -hmm. and we get a new product. Okay. So now we have used this word here recipe because the scientist also does the same. Okay. They, they mix different products mm. and the new product is there. Right. So we can use the same term in a different context as exactly. well. Exactly. Okay. So after that, Willy Wonka decided to invent a new thing. Then he thought of two questions because it was not easy to invent something which could make people older now. So those two questions were, what was the oldest living thing in the world? Why was he searching for the oldest thing? Because he wanted to make people old this time. And the second question was, what lived longer than anything else? Because he actually wanted to use the things which were very old and which had very long age. One of his assistant and friend, Charlie, then he, he suggested him something. Charlie said that the tree was the oldest living thing in the world. There are many trees in the world whom we talk about these days that, that you know that uh, tree is 200 years ago or this tree is 500 years ago and it could live longer than anything else. Any animal, any human being, trees can live the longest. Mr. Wonka told Charlie that he was right. Then he asked him what kind of tree was required because he was searching for the tree which could live the longest, the, the oldest tree. Charlie said that the correct type of tree wasn't the Douglas fir or the oak or the cedar. Then which was that? Let's find out. He said that a bristle cone pine tree was the correct one that grew on Wheeler Peak in Nevada, USA. These trees were over 4,000 years old. Can you imagine children? A tree which is 4,000 years ago, old, sorry. Mr. Wonka added that the Charlie could ask any dendrochronologist in case he didn't believe him. Ma'am, uh I can uh, read this word, dendrochronologist. Yes. Who is he? Uh, okay. When we get ill, yeah. whom we go to? A doctor. When we have to fix something, some, some electrical switch in our house, where do we go? Electrician. Electrician. And if we want to find out the age of a tree, okay. whom do we go to? We go to a person called mm -hmm. dendrochronologist. Okay. So dendrochronologist is a person who who can tell us the age of a tree. Okay. Now you would ask how? Mm. How can the age of a tree can be, you know? Guessed. Guessed. So see.
very strange phenomena that we can guess. Uh, this is the person okay. whom we can say that he is a dendrochronoid. Can you see this person? He has cut the tree, tree trunk like this. Mm -hmm. And now this portion, this portion can be seen as this. Yeah. So the study of these lines, can you see these small, small circles on it? Yes, ma'am. So the study of this is called dendrochronology. And the person who does this study is called dendrochronologist. Now see this. This is just a part of that trunk. Can you see this? It's 1950, 1960, 1970, 1980. That means after these many rings, 10 years are passed. So suppose a, a tree was planted in 1950. Can you guess the age of that tree right now? 1950 to 1923. 73? 73. So, we just can't just say it just like that, you know, that the tree is 73 years old. A okay. dendrochronologist, he does the study of these rings okay. and then he tells us the age of that tree. So, can we say that the, a dendrochronologist is a scientist, is, is a kind of scientist? Uh, no, okay. uh, he he is a professional because okay. you know he is not inventing something. He is not discovering some. मतलब he is not inventing something. So maybe so, he is a researcher. Yes, exactly. Okay. You can call him a researcher. Okay, all right. Can we continue with the story? Yes. The next slide, please. Then after gathering all information he jumped into the glass elevator and rushed all over the world collecting the oldest living thing now here the writer has used glass elevator as we all know that we cannot move around the world in a glass elevator but since it's a fiction story so we can say you know we can say we can imagine anything that a scientist is going around the world in a glass elevator isn't it interesting just think of this i know somebody is moving around in a glass elevator mm. it is then he had to collect so many things to make the tonic then he collected a pint of sap from a 4000 year old bristle cone pine the toenail clipping from a 168 year old Russian farmer called Petrovich Gregorovich. An egg laid by a 200 year old tortoise belonging to the king of Tonga. Can you imagine 200 years old tortoise? Mm -hmm. And then a tail of a 51 year old horse in Arabia. And he also corrected more things like the Whiskers of 36 year old cat called Crumpet. An old flea which had lived on crumpets for 36 years. You know what flea is? Flea is a kind of insect which kisi uh, bhi animal ke hair mein chipakke then he sucks the blood of that animal. That is called the flea. Then he also collected the black teeth of a 97 year old Grimalkin living in a cave of Mount Popocatep and the knuckle bones of a 700 years old cattle from Peru. Some strange things, some weird things he just collected because we can imagine of anything in this story, you know. Then he went to his laboratory and took a little bit of something from each of them which was important for making the new product because he wanted to make a new product to make a new tonic so that the people can turn older okay now see this flask yeah 
So, uh, ma'am, I was just thinking about this. Um, as a laboratory, uh, it's there in schools and children go there for experiments. Uh, but would you like to explain the concept of laboratory uh, to visually impaired children? How would you do that? Yes. So, first we will start with the, I don't know, daily life even. Like okay. we can tell them that as we go to the kitchen. Right. So, we mix water, hmm. milk, sugar, tea leaves. Okay. And then what do we get? When we boil it, we get tea. tea. So, that's an absolutely different product. It's neither sugar, nor tea leaves, not water and not even milk. Hmm. So, this is what we does in a separate room, which is called a laboratory, in which a scientist mixes different ingredients, maybe some chemical. In this case, a scientist use different part of some tree or some animal, nail of something, you know, and all that. And he will, he's trying to make a different thing so that he can make the people old. As we were trying to make something in our kitchen to make tea. Okay. This is what a kind of laboratory. Laboratory, a uh, scientist used to make a product. Kitchen, we used kitchen. Hum log usme different ingredient add, matlab add karke kuch na ek naya product, koi sabzi, palak paneer, chana, we make. But only by mixing different things. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to show us uh, what exactly happens in a lab? Yes. We don't use kadhai in lab because we are talking about a lab now such kind of you know things are used it can be flask okay it can be beaker so generally we use glass container in a laboratory let's try out mixing something and let's see if something happens do we get a new product i am adding baking soda Let me add some red color to it. Let's add some black color also. Because we are really trying to make something interesting. And now I am adding vinegar to it. Is is something happening? Yes. I can see. Can you some see bubbles. the bubbles, the smell? And the beaker is slightly warmer. That means some reaction is taking place. Okay. After adding these these ingredients. Okay. Can we say that the final product is color? No. Can we say the final product is baking soda? No. So it is a different product. This is what Mr. Willy Wonka did he he also tried to mix different things to to just invent that tonic he was trying really hard he did a lot of research he went all over to find those things in his glass elevator as said so now let's come back to our presentation please so can you see this beaker and all the ingredients are ready to get mixed. Do you see? This, 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 and the horse tail. And then, after mixing, he boiled everything together. So, after lots of boiling and bubbling and mixing, testing in his inventing room, he had been able to produce one tiny cupful of oily black liquid as we got a different kind of product in our beaker so he was able to invent a black oily liquid it was a very very strong liquid and then he gave just four drops of that liquid 
to a brave 20 years old man called Oompa Loompa. Why are we calling him brave? Because you know it is not very safe to try out different things. Anything could have happened. He could have died, he could have disappeared, he could have you know become very tiny. What? Anything could have happened. But he volunteered himself. Volunteered himself means he was not forced to. Volunteering means somebody is not forced to do anything. He just volunteers it himself. Ki, okay, I am volunteering. You can try out your, your product on me. And if anything happens to me, you are not responsible. That is called volunteering. Okay. Ma'am, um, but is it like you said that this is not safe? Anything could have happened to him. Yes. Generally, when scientists uh, invent anything, do they try it directly on humans? Never. Okay. They just never do it. Generally, it is said that they try their new medicine or mm -hmm. anything new, whatever they invent on guinea pigs. Okay. You, you must have seen those white rats, the big rats called mm -hmm. guinea pigs. So, they try those medicines on them just to check okay. and uh, it is my advice children don't ever try all this at home as I told you that you know this this story is imaginary don't try to mix different things and try out on yourself or your friends it can be very risky it's just a story that to an imaginary story so don't try it out at home please yes and this is very interesting story I just want to know what happens towards the end and then guess what what could have happened mm, i don't know <laughs> i think uh, uh, the brave man have survived but uh, but uh, it's not the experiment wasn't that successful i think yes good try so let's see what happened to this man okay And the moment he swallowed it, he began wrinkling, shriveling. Wrinkling means uske chahere pe dekho aise wrinkles jo old people ke wrinkles aa jate hain. Shriveling means shrink hona. Chote jab koi old hota hai to he becomes short. Shrink se ho jate hain. Aur aur kya symptom hai hum ka? Humara old age ka and his hair started dropping off. And his teeth started falling out and he had suddenly become an old fellow of 75. Remember what was his age? He was only 20. 20 years old. And after having that magical tonic of Mr. Willy Wonka, he turned 75. And his age went from 20 to 75. Wow. It was such a magical tonic and that's how Vita Wong was invented. Now the new tonic which Mr. Willy Wonka invented, he named it as Vita Wong. Wow, this is amazing ma'am. So uh, this was an invention and not a discovery, right? Yes. So um, would you like to tell us what exactly is the difference between these two? Invention is something mm. which is not existing right now okay. and we are going to invent it, something new mm. and discovering is something which, which already exists okay. and a scientist try to find out. For example, mm. electricity, bulb, mm. bulb was never there but a scientist invented it and suppose coal coal was also not there but he invent the scientist discovered it coal is already there but the scientists are trying to discover it okay okay uh, and ma'am, uh, before uh, leaving, I have uh, one more question. So when I think of Willy Wonka, 
I think Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. So these That's two right. aren't related, are they? Not really. Mm. These are two different stories. But yes, both are fictional. Yes. Both are imaginary stories. And both are written by the same writer called Roy Thar. Amazing. Amazing. So, uh, ma'am, would you like to uh, show the keywords to all our viewers? Yes. So, now keywords are Dendrochronologist, Shriveling and Flea. Let's repeat the keywords once again. Dendrochronologist. Shriveling, flea. All right, ma'am. Oh, uh, can you uh, give the children any homework? Yes. So this is our homework. First five are the questions, whom the children are need to answer these questions. They can write answers and send. Answers should not be very long. And the second part of the homework is true and false. There are four questions in which you really have to read these sentences carefully and see whether it's true or whether these are false. And then we have a homework that is called modified homework. This is a homework for children of special need children. In this we have not given uh, we are not expecting the child to write long answers. Fill in the blanks, the first part, in which the child has to just write one name. If the child is not able to write, he can also ask his buddy or his parent to write, the, uh, to write for him. And the second part of the homework is true and false. In this, the child only has to write T or F. Okay, so let's see the format in which uh, the students can send their homework. Here is the format uh, right in front of you children. Uh, firstly, you have to write the name, your name and then the class here. Please mention class 7, then your school name and address, then the expert's name which is uh, Miss Suruchi Pal, the date of the session which is today 28th of uh, February 2023 and then attach a photograph. Aap chahe to photograph laga sakte hain. Otherwise, aap usse rehne bhi de sakte hain. Isi format mein aapko apna ye jo homework hai, hum tak pahunchana hai. Email ID hai dth.class7 at the rate cit.nic.in. So, thank you so much ma'am. It was a wonderful program and uh, it was lovely, you know, uh, learning about uh, Vita Wonk and uh, Willy Wonka and uh, his invention. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you to all our viewers as well for watching this program. We hope that you have liked it, you have liked it, and if you have any questions, we will definitely reach you. And we would like to thank our sign language interpreter too. Thank you so much, Nirbhaya, for your one-one word to our viewers. You have been able to reach our sign language. Thank you so much. And thank you to our sign language interpreter. Thank you so much. धन्यवाद करना चाहेंगे हम सभी दर्शकों को एक बार फिर से और जाने से पहले एक फिर से अनाउंसमेंट भी देना चाहेंगे जो कि है इंडिया की G20 प्रेसिडेंसी से जुड़ी हुई। Well, we are extremely proud that India assumed G20 presidency and would convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding the global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so, well manifest its true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. With this, we are wrapping up this particular program, but keep on watching even their channels. We have a lot more programs for all of you in this day. Thank you once again. Take care. And I'm Tanvi Kuranal. Take a leave of you. Namaskar.